What's good, bro? I'm Louis Gusto. Welcome to New York City. It's been a long, dreary winter here in New York, so I thought to myself, you know what? It's time to take my lady and my dog out for a nice staycation right here in the beautiful Big Apple. So we linked up with State Pineapple to have a three-day weekend staycation right here in their beautiful New York location. Day Pineapple New York is a gusto approved hotel. They're located right in Midtown Manhattan on 36th Street between 8th and 9th Avenue. And we're gonna be working with State Pineapple again in the future, so make sure you keep it locked. State Pineapple has locations in Boston, Chicago, Seattle, pretty much anywhere you wanna get to in Manhattan, you can get to from here. Whether you wanna go downtown, Central Park, wherever. The hospitality is phenomenal. They're not only dog friendly, they are dog besties. They really hook them up here. I've never been to a hotel that gives dogs amenities. We'll get more into that later. First of all, we took the train over from Brooklyn Friday evening, checked in, the process was nice and smooth. Once they saw Rowdy, they brought him all his gear, a dog bed, a couple of dog bowls, some treats, and a pooper scooper bag. Really nice details. We got the King Celebrity Room on the 19th floor with a street view, so we got lots of natural light coming in. There's a small washroom with a stand-up shower, Tommy Bahama bathroom products. The bed is king size with European style duvets. That means two duvets, so you and your partner don't have to fight over the blankets at night. There's also also a big screen flat panel TV, a Keurig machine with K cups, coffee and tea, stay pineapple coffee mugs, stay pineapple branded robes, which are nice and cozy. They give you the naked experience, no matter if you're by yourself or with your puppy. <laughs> So we got to the hotel, we checked in Friday evening, got our stuff settled, got Rowdy acquainted with the room, and then we headed over to Whole Foods, which is right around the corner from this hotel. We got some charcuterie, some boiled eggs, cause it is bulking season, a couple of cool plant-based juices, chlorophyll water and a green juice. And then we just kind of chilled Friday evening. Now the Saturday of our staycation, the whole day's forecast was rain and lots of it. So we decided, you know what? It's a staycation. We're here to relax anyway. We're always so busy in Brooklyn, just hustling, making our art, creating videos and whatnot. So we decided we're gonna take advantage and just hang out in the hotel. But of course we had to make our way out to Russ and Daughters in Hudson Yards for our breakfast. <laughs> Got some roll mops, some pickled herring, classic lox and bagel sandwich, a chocolate babka piece, and of course, a coffee. Hashtag no cream, no sugar. It's right around the corner, so that was nice, even though it was rainy and windy. Then we popped over to Whole Foods again to grab snacks and drinks for the day. We came back to the hotel to hang out on this beautiful king-size bed, watch some TV, college basketball was on, you know. Then later in the day, we went back down to the lobby. We took Rowdy out for the evening. We explored and took some pictures in the lobby, which was pretty cool. It was still raining, so then we brought Rowdy back up to the room so he could relax and not get super soaked. Then we headed to the corner to Vito's Ices and Slices, or is it Vito Slices and Ices? One of those two. That's a classic New York style pizza joint right here in the Hell's Kitchen Hudson Yards area. It was cool. We got a grandma slice, a plain slice, and a pepperoni slice. We also got garlic knots with a dipping sauce. Pretty busy for a rainy Saturday night. Once we devoured all that deliciousness, we got dessert. They make a house-made Italian ice. Lots of flavors to choose from, but we got strawberry. So that was a cool evening. We made the best of a rainy day here in Manhattan. Came back to the hotel, and now it is Sunday. The sun is shining in, so we're gonna take Rowdy over to Hudson Yards, maybe get some photos with the vessel and whatnot. So on the Sunday morning of our staycation, we had to return to Russ and Daughters. This time we went all out and got an egg everything bagel with caviar, cream cheese, pickled herring. We got roll mops, gravlax, and some smoked salmon tartare. Everything was phenomenal. My belly is full of smoked fish. It feels so good. Now we're right here in front of the vessel 
Roddy was checking it out and wondering if he could run up all those stairs, but I told him, unfortunately, it's closed at the moment. But all of this is right around the corner from the State Pineapple, New York on 36th Street, which is a hop, skip, and a jump, like we say. It's been a cool stay here in State Pineapple. I definitely recommend this hotel. The hospitality is top notch. Now it's not the biggest hotel in New York. They don't have the amenities like a gym. There's no fridge in your room. There's no hotel bar. The room is definitely New York size, but it's very quaint and cozy. Rowdy in particular really loved the bed. He's supposed to sleep on the dog bed, but then he was crying and whining. So we had to bring him up on the bed. You know, that's just our policy when we're traveling with old rowdy here there's no fridge in here but they do have a cooler downstairs with snacks and drinks and of course you're in new york there's bodegas and plenty of restaurants so i wouldn't worry too much about not having a fridge inside here in the lobby every morning they got a nice big carafe of coffee pineapple water always stocked so that's kind of cool too the ac unit worked well the shower had good water pressure but you could stream from your device to the television which is also cool i mean it's all about location in new york city so you want a hotel that's going to put you in the center of everything without being too nuts there weren't big parties going on because there's all hotels around here so you're going to be amongst lots of visitors to new york city when you stay at state pineapple pineapple of course is the international symbol for hospitality going back hundreds of years if you explore the city you're going to see pineapples on some of those old school nyc mansions when you're traveling with your dog it's important to find a spot that's going to make you feel like home so you can explore the big apple while your pooch is up in the room chilling on that european style duvet they got the nice robes for the morning time after you wash off the hangover or whatever happened here in new york you never know you can wear those robes and chill watch some big screen tv there are so many hotels in new york city it's not possible that one man can visit them all but amongst the hotels that i've stayed in state pineapple is definitely at the top of my list